move locations again. Here I am in my family room. So today we're going to get started with our writer's workshop and I'm really excited because we are digging into all the different ways we can use poetic devices or figurative language to make our writing super interesting. Now yesterday we learned about a brand new type of poetic device called alliteration. And if you remember I tried to teach you the tongue twister Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and one thing that we noticed about that tongue twister is that almost every single letter in that tongue twister, or not letter, word, started with the same sound, the p sound. Now that's what alliteration is. So if you look at this screen, we have alliteration, Annie. Alliteration is when two or more words in a row or close together begin with the same, instead of letter though, it's sound, okay? Like Alex Alligator ate apples. Carson carries cars in his cart. I eat eggs, egg rolls, and eggos. My friend fries French fries. So remember, it's not letter, it's sound. So the same sound. Because remember my last name, Arbuckle, it starts with an A, but it makes the R sound. So when I think of alliteration for my name, I have to think of things that start with that R sound. Now today, what we're going to do is we're going to read a poem together by the poet Jack Perletsky. Now we've read a couple of poems by Jack Perletsky, like The Pizza the Size of the Sun. So here's a picture of Jack Perletsky. He was born in 1940 and he's an author of more than 30 collections and anthologies of children's poetry. So if you want to um, go on Chicago Public Library onto their e- um, books, you can probably find some of his stuff and um, remotely check it out and um, read it on your e-readers. Um, he's written a lot of great books. So today we're going to be reading a poem that he's written called Bleezer's Ice Cream. And in this poem, you are going to notice that he uses this idea of alliteration to create crazy ice cream combinations. And after you read this, you're going to get a chance to do the same thing in the Seesaw app. You are going to come up with alliteration for different flavors of ice cream so we can continue to practice using poetic devices to make our writing sound interesting, okay? So let's jump into our poem. So here it is on our screen, so Bleezer's Ice Cream by Jack Perletsky. So you're going to notice we have one stanza, and then, whoa, a huge two stanza, and then our last stanza. So as we're reading, I want you to listen for repeated beginning sounds to create alliteration, okay? So it says, I am Ebenezer Bleezer. I run Bleezer's Ice Cream Store. There are flavors in my freezer you have never seen before. 28 divine creations, too delicious to resist. Why not do yourself a favor? Try the flavors on my list. Coco mocha macaroni, tapioca smoked bologna, checkerberry cheddar chew, chicken cherry honey dew, tutti fruity stewed tomato, tuna taco baked potato, lobster lychee lima lima bean, mozzarella mega megastein almond ham meringue salami. Yam, anchovy, prune, pastrami, sassafras, suvaki, hash, suaki, succotash, butter, brickle, pepper, pickle, pomegranate, pumpernickel, peach, pimento, pizza, plum, peanut, pumpkin, bubble gum, broccoli, banana, bluster, chocolate, chop soy, cluster. Avocado, Brussels sprout, periwinkle, sauerkraut, cotton candy, carrot, custard, cauliflower, cola, mustard, onion, dumpling, double dip, turnip, truffle, triple flip, garlic, gumbo, gravy, guava, lentil, lemon, liver, lava, orange, olive, bagel, beet, watermelon, waffle, wheat. I am Ebenezer Bleezer. I run Bleezer's ice cream store. Taste a flavor from my freezer. You will surely ask for more. Whew. That was kind of tricky to read that second stanza because there's so many examples of alliteration and it kind of sounds like a tongue twister almost. My favorite part was right in here where it starts with butter, brickle, pepper, pickle, pomegranate, pumpernickel, peach, pimento, pizza, plum, peanut, pumpkin. So many flavors that start with the p sound over and over and over again. I also liked when it came down to the cotton candy, carrot, custard, cauliflower, cola. Again, all start with the k sound over and over and over and over again. 
So you can see that he used alliteration to make these crazy wacky flavors that we have never heard of by taking foods that start with the same sound and putting them all in order together. So today what you are going to get a chance to do then, let me pull up your activity. I'm going to move myself over. Ooh, fancy. Never done that before. I'm learning all sorts of things in remote learning. I'll move myself back. All right, so today in Seesaw, you're going to be seeing this activity. Now, your job is to come up with different flavors of ice cream that use alliteration. Remember, alliteration only works if it's more than two that go together with the same first sound, okay? Now, on this page, you can make one long flavor if it fills up all the lines, or you can make multiple flavors um, depending on how many. If you want to make three scoops or two scoops. And I also put a fun activity. You don't have to do it, but if you want to, I put some ice cream templates in Seesaw. So if you want to print those out and cut them apart and decorate them, you can. You don't have to. Just thought you might want to do it, though. So if I think about uh, ice cream flavor, one way to get started is by just thinking about, like, one um, flavor that you already know of or one type of food and then think about other words that start with that same sound. So I'm already thinking of vanilla so I could say very va oops, very vibrant voluminous vanilla and that's going to be oops sorry that will be one of my flavors, very vibrant, voluminous vanilla. And that's one of the flavors that I'm going to have on my list for ice cream at my ice cream store. Did you know that I used to work at an ice cream store when I was in high school and college? I worked at Cold Stone Creamery making some ice cream there. True story. Um, so if we take a look at another one, um, I could think of another food and then go from there or another flavor. So, hmm, what other flavors do I like? Ooh, I like um, mint ice cream. Does anyone else like mint ice cream? So we could say midnight blue minty, minty mixture of mint ice cream. Midnight blue minty mixture of mint ice cream. So, mm, 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 over and over and over again, okay? So when you go to your Seesaw app, you're going to open it up and you're going to fill out this ice cream alliteration poem. Remember, you can either fill up all the lines with one flavor using alliteration, or you can do a couple of different flavors um, using more than two words that start with the same sound. Okay, first grade, so go have fun. I can't wait to read all of the different combinations of flavors you come up with using alliteration. All right, first grade, see you later. Bye.